cannot believe that this week is almost over already. It goes by so fast. Um, it is about 6.45 or so. I am uploading my day four vlog. Um, and uh, the sprint is going to be happening here at 7 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up The Attic Tragedy by Jade Ashley Smith. This is a very short little like 50 page novella that I think I can get done this morning. Um, and this is counting towards a challenge of read a book with the word the in the title. Um, and it's very short so I think it's um, doable to get done. And I'm going to go ahead and dive into this and um, check in with you guys in about an hour. Bye. So it is about 10, 15 or so. You guys haven't seen me in a few hours, but it's actually been a pretty productive morning. I got a little laundry done this morning. Um, my day four vlog is uploaded. I'm editing my day five vlog. I watched a couple of uh, Kayla's vlogs from the Reading Rush and I have ended up, and then I have um, actually read a little bit in The Attic Tragedy by J. Ashley Smith, um, but I ended up participating a little bit in the sprint this morning, not much. Um, but I made a slow progress in this. I am up to page 21, um, but there's only 53 pages in this. So it's definitely doable to finish. Um, I am actually really enjoying this. I really didn't know what to expect going in, um, but it's actually quite an interesting little novella. Um, the writing is actually kind of wonderful. Um, it's very descriptive. It's very like atmospheric. Um, it follows our two main characters, Sylvie and George, or Georgie. Um, Sylvie is the new girl and um, George is very intrigued by her, potentially maybe has a crush on her. Um, so I think there's some like young uh, lesbian or maybe bisexual representation in here. Um, there's also bullying and also, there's also, um, a conversation on bullying, uh, from the school bully, um, and George is, uh, a rat chick, so, um, Tommy, the, the school bully Tommy is fat shaming her and bullying her for being big, and so there's actually quite a lot of representation going on in here very early on, um, but I'm actually really, really intrigued and... The chapter ended very interestingly and um, quite intriguingly so I am actually very excited to dive back into this and see what happens um, and I it's actually quite an interesting little novella but I hope everyone is doing well uh, for day seven and their reading is going well I'm gonna finish editing my day five vlog and get that exported and then dive back into this. Um, we do have to do a couple errands today. We still have to go to Target and um, we need to get some new sheets for our bed. And then we still have to go to the grocery store. And then we are planning on watching um, the second Bill and Ted today. So I definitely have to get this read at least um, and then try to try to finish on a K. We'll see, but definitely at least this. I hope everyone is doing well and I will check in with you guys later. So it is about 4.30 or so. Um, you, probably, you guys have not seen me since this morning. Um, it's actually been a pretty busy day. Um, I got my day four vlog uploaded. Um, I edited and exported my day five vlog, so I just have to get that uploaded. I watched um, my list of um, 
reading rush content videos I needed to watch. I did a little laundry, which you guys saw this morning. Um, and then we had to go to the grocery store, we had to go to Target, and then we had to go to JCPenney's. Um, but that is all done. And um, so I just finished The Attic Tragedy by J. Ashley Smith. Uh, this was actually definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting more horror, um, but I actually did really enjoy this. Um, quite a lot um, is addressed in this 53 page novella. Um, it deals, it talks about um, body shaming and uh, being bullied and there's self-harm in here um, and definitely not what I was expecting. But basically it follows George or Georgiana, but she goes by George, um, and her uh, very first interaction with Sylvie, who is the new girl at her school. Um, <coughs> and um, they become friends over a, an incident where George is being bullied by um, a group of high school boys um, who, well first they become friends by um, George saving her from um, high school bullies who um, are trying to rape Sylvie um, and then later on um, Sylvie saves George from being bullied by these same kids and um, they beat her up and um, make fun of her for being fat and being a fat girl and um, and she saves her from that using these mystical powers um, which is the only time that that's addressed. And then it actually just follows George going through life, um, over a couple years and, um, how her interactions with Sylvie, um, made her kind of figure out who she was and, um, she formed a bond with Sylvie's dad and she got a job at the antique shop and it's a quite uh, interesting little little novella. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, the writing was beautiful. Um, it was very much atmospheric and um, you get a good, a good sense of um, the setting. It never specifically states where it's located but I believe it's probably somewhere in Europe because um, they talk about um, the weather in Celsius and it's somewhere in the mountains and you just get a really good vivid description of this little town in the mountains and the setting and I actually really enjoyed this um but I really enjoyed this um it's not a horror book at all it gets marketed as a horror story but it's really not um I don't know what I would classify it as it's definitely not horror but I hope everyone is having a good Sunday um I'm gonna um, get my day five vlog uploaded for you guys and start editing day six and get that up and then I don't know what I'm going to do as far as reading. I don't know if I want to pick up on a K. I had intentions to finish that today but that ain't going to happen. Um, so I think I might pick up a graphic novel because I still want to get some page, I still want to get some more reading done and want to get my page count up. Um, but I don't think I'm going to finish any more challenges. But if everyone is well and I will see you guys later. So it is about 5.30. Um, no reading has happened since my last check-in. I um, am uploading my day vlog, my day five vlog right now, and then I was getting caught up on um, Kayla's from Books and Mala's vlogs, and um, then I was um, on Twitter kind of reading about everything that was happening um, and what's going on with the reading rush, and I didn't... Um, watch the live show because I do really want to read um, Such a Fun Age and I didn't want spoilers and I wasn't going to be able to complete it for the readathon um, so I decided to not uh, watch the, sh the live show and um, I am very disappointed in um, what happened during the live show and um, I, I heard about and was reading lots of thoughts and opinions and comments and um, I have made the decision to stand with others and not continue with the Reading Rush next year and to not continue to support them and um, I 
I'm gonna put these vlogs up just because the, the content is already there and um, I, I've put time into filming and editing, but um, I will not be participating in the reading rush next year. Um, I think what happened was very disrespectful and um, hurt people in the community and black voices and I will not be supporting them. Um, I will do my best to raise up black voices and find other readathons to support. There are tons of them out there um, and I feel like there's more and more popping up monthly these days. Um, there are there are other readathons to do so I've decided that after these vlogs go up I will not be supporting um, the reading rush. I will not be uh, participating in future readathons from them um, and I um, recommend that if you don't know to at least educate yourself on what happened um, if you want to support them that is your right and um, I'm not here to to tell you what you should and should not do I'm just voicing my opinion that I have made myself aware of the situation that happened and I'm making the decision not to participate in future events from them or to support them any longer um, I will check in with you guys a little later. I do plan on doing like a full wrap up still, um, just for my own benefit as well to keep track of all of my reading that happened during the week. Um, but moving forward, this this will be the, the last set of vlog, uh, reading rush vlogs. But I hope everyone um, is doing well on this Sunday and I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Okay, so realistically, I am not gonna finish on a K tonight. Um, I do plan on finishing it, but I'm not gonna finish it for the reading rush. Um, I'm not gonna complete the badge, but I do want to finish it over the next week. Um, I do have the ability to realistically fit in one short read left for the readathon. Um, since because I am on the Pacific side of the world, um, I've still got quite a few hours left. What I did do is I picked two books um, that I just recently hauled um, that are both short and easy reads and that are both by non-white authors. Um, I put a Twitter poll on, I put a poll on Twitter to last for a couple hours. That way I can finish editing my vlog and have some dinner and then um, whatever gets the majority of what I'm gonna read. But the two choices that I picked are either gonna be Check Please, book one hockey. This is a graphic novel. Um, so graphic novels are always quick reads. I've heard amazing things about this. Um, and I know that this, uh, I've heard amazing things about this. And I do know that it started as a web comic. Um, and I am very excited to read it. And then the second choice is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. This is a recent haul for me. I just picked it up from Barnes & Noble this month. Um, yes, it is like 400 pages, so it looks really big, but it's actually all told in verse, so I think that it's actually a pretty quick, fast-paced read. Um, and this is actually a debut novel from Dean. He is a black male, which I don't think we see a lot in the YA community, especially YA contemporary. Um, but I am very excited to get to this. Uh, so we'll see what Twitter says I should read as my last read, but I do want to definitely get to both of these, um, but we shall see what my last read will be in a couple hours. It is uh, nine o'clock uh, Sunday. I um, let the poll run for two hours. Um, I ate dinner, watched an episode of Supernatural, and um, finished getting my day 
five vlog up, so I want to go check in with Twitter and see um, what it is I'm going to be reading as my last reading rush book. Okay, so 70% uh, chose Check Please Volume 1, so I'm going to be picking this up as my last reading rush book. Um, it is 200... Uh, it is 240 pages, um, but it's a graphic novel, so I can definitely get it done in a sitting. I am very excited to dive into this. I have heard nothing but amazing things, and I love adorable graphic novels like this, so I am very excited to dive into this, and I will check in with you guys um, when I've made some progress. absolutely loved this. This is so amazing. Um, it's adorable and it's so cute. It's just like feel good and um, this was like the perfect thing to finish up the readathon with. Um, so I read the entirety of this which is I think like 288 pages. Um, I don't know my page count for the day. Um, I'll pop in tomorrow with like a full wrap up. Um, but I am absolutely, but um, I'll pop in tomorrow with like a full wrap up um, with all of my, with all the challenges completed, the books that I read and the page count that I had. Um, but I, um, this is, this is absolutely amazing. Um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I am just about, um, I'm very tired. And the reading rush is about over because it's like 11.45. Um, but I just want to give you guys my final update um, and um, let you guys know I finish it. It's so good. Absolutely amazing. Adorable. Fun. Um, feel good. And just ooh, so cute. Um, I'll pop in tomorrow with like a final wrap up. But um, I just, this first one had some ups and downs. I think I'm overall pretty happy with um, what I did for the week. And um, I hope everyone had a good Sunday. I hope everyone, I hope everyone had a good reading rush. Um, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with a final update. Good night.